We're lady barbers. Of course your husband pays to spend time with us. Duh. We're lady barbers. Of course we need a booster to cut your hair. We're lady barbers. Of course we get more tips than the guys. We're lady barbers. Of course your boyfriend knows our struggle. We're lady barbers. Of course your girlfriend doesn't like us. We're lady barbers, of course we'll fuck up your hairline. So where are the pretty ones at? The tip part stings. What did he say? Oh. I'll stick to my man barber. We're lady barbers, of course our haircuts are mid. This ain't it. This is honestly gross. You're lady barbers, of course you only get thirsty clients and not ones that actually want a good cut. I mean, you're not <laughs> wrong, but you didn't have to say it. I mean, good lord. Nah, this ain't it. You need to stay humble. You're gonna lose a lot of business like this and get a bad name. I missed the part where that's my problem. I'm a female barber and we don't claim these ladies. Friendly fire! Gotcha, bitch! Hey, even when it's hard, remember, fellas. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. Babe, I'm almost done. I just have to finish my makeup. Why do you do this? You don't need, you don't even need makeup. Come on. So sweet. You need plastic surgery. That one there was a violation. Excuse me. What would you rate me out of ten? Okay. This man just gave us a perfect example of how to deal with these TikTok donuts, and he said, "Please." A quick question. All right, what's your question, Pootie? How you spell your, your what name, Queen? R-E-I-L-L-Y. Say it again. <laughs> 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 How much do you think a guy should spend on an engagement ring? I'd say at least like 100K. Yeah. Or you could build an elite rogue home gym setup, run a complete Olympia bodybuilder cycle, and eat as much food as a strong man for an entire year. You ever heard of the 2023 update with microwaves? <laughs> No, you haven't heard the update on the camera? Stop, 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 fam. Go yeah, get that know. gang. Go get back. Are you dumb? Wait, get what, though? What? Go get back. Just go get back for your day, guys. Are you dumb? <laughs> We're failing as a society. So this must be the beautiful women of Toronto that Drake was talking about. Is it true that the most beautiful girls in the world are here in Toronto? I would, I would say so, yes. How'd you get them here from Miami? You flew them in your plane? <laughs> That's a valid point. Alright, what's y'all type? Chocolate. <laughs> don't, look, don't look at me like that. You like when I look at you like that. Don't play. She want me on the right bad. I could tell her. I'm a virgin. I'm waiting till marriage. That is a... I'm, that's a lie. I'm sorry. No, Respectfully. Like, how old are you? 23. Are you actually... That is bullshit. Yeah. You're not 23. Yeah. I am actually, actually 23. 23 and a virgin. I swear to God. Weirdo! Yeah, I mean, if you don't have at least 5 to 10 bodies at 23 in 2023, then you're a weirdo and you can't be part of the city girls. Are men okay? Nope. Every day I'm struggling. I'm 36 and I'm single. Being 36 and single is like arriving wow. late to a Black Friday sale. <laughs> the only things left on the shelf are even damaged or triple XL by this point. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, that's true. Unless you're a high value rich man, then you've probably got more choices than ever. Whereas a woman your age has only really got a choice of cats. Have you ever cheated? That's a personal question for a stranger to ask. You have, okay. I don't know you no answer to that because I don't know who the f you are. You've cheated, but it's okay. Oh, okay. Why you come at me with like a judgmental. I'm not coming at you. I'm just, I just asked a question. All right, and I'm answering it. Do you consider yourself wifey material? Depends on who my husband is. Huh? What do you mean? Some man will f***ing adore me and some man can't handle me. So why would you be with a man that couldn't handle you? Because some men who can't handle you treat you really nicely. Well, we can see where this is going. Cat lady. Wait, wait. The sugar daddy, the billionaire sugar daddy made a phone call because I picked the boy from the ghetto over him and billionaires have a wait. lot of power. Do you actually believe the crap that comes out of your mouth? Yeah, and it is a billionaire, not a millionaire. Do you say his name or would he sue you? Um, he'd probably sue me. I'm not in connection with who knows if he even gave me the real name. She's either talking about the shrooms or the movie that she watched last night because this never happened. And if she thinks it did, then she needs Michael. Get some help. Clay Travis bet a million dollars that a high school boys basketball team could beat the best team in the WNBA, and it looks like that bet is a lock. A good state championship level boys high school team would absolutely smoke the WNBA champions. Who doesn't believe that? A woman named Chelsea Gray. 
who's a player for the Las Vegas franchise of the WNBA. She responded to Clay Travis with a really pithy remark, called him a dumbass. But Clay Travis responded again, I'll put a million dollars on the line. Your WNBA champion team against a 2024 high school boys state champion team of my choice. You guys win, you get a million bucks of my money. My team win, you all pay me a million and I give it to the boys high school team. Are you in? It's been like four days now and the WNBA hasn't responded. Someone said it would be the most watched WNBA game in the history of that league. I bet they could even pay-per-view it and make more money on it. Million bucks. Them girls can't bet what they don't have. <laughs> you're moving off of experience and then you're moving off no, of a no, very feminine this based mind. Like, no, no, just, this isn't feminine. Mm, this is extremely like masculine. It. What part do you think of my mindset is feminine? All of it. What part? You got to name one. You're, you're moving, you're moving as if we're just sexual beings. No know? one said that like a, a woman is just sexual beings. I've said it on a podcast, I think three times. When a woman meets a man, she has to add value to the man outside of in order to retain that man so does a man well the man was already adding value outside this because that's how he got the sex right gotcha. that makes sense. right that makes sense. <laughs> you might need to be a bit smarter than that she's probably trying to get a reaction by calling him feminine because it's probably worked with other guys she's probably said that and they've got all emotional and she's been able to say oh look you're acting all feminine but he stayed calm and he made it look like a muppet <laughs> I mean, if there's no men there, then where's the money coming from? Because I don't think any bottles were bought that night, were they? The weather outside is humid. She turned up her location. She must think I'm stupid. She want to run the street, so let her hold, let her hold, let her hold. She doesn't show signs of stopping. So who am I to be cop blocking? I really hate to see you go. Let her hold, let her hold, let her hold. You see, there's some weird mother in the strip club but some of them are so wholesome look what my customer just sent to me he finally got his u.s citizenship and thought the text my slut ass about it and honestly go pepito no pepito come on bro what are you doing what are you doing man you let yourself down you got a citizenship and look what you've done disappointed why are there women quick to reject a man that lives with his mom but quick to accept a man that lives with his wife because women suck. <laughs> Friendly fire! I guess because there's a stigma if you live with your mom, then you're a bum, but I don't believe that, but a lot of women think that. Would women prefer to be the emperor's mistress or the peasant's wife? Um, probably the emperor's mistress because I guess it's like a higher... So women would rather share a high-value man with another woman than have an average man all to herself? I feel like a lot of women would want that, probably, most likely. Hmm. It sounds like most women are gold diggers, huh? There's a lot of those out here. <laughs> yeah, they want to be the emperor's mistress, but a lot of them aren't good enough to be the emperor's mistress. A lot of them aren't even good enough to be the peasant's wife, bruv. Would you recommend all women have a whole piece? Yes. You think it's essential? Yes. Okay. You got married young. I was looking at you like, ma'am, like, that's why you're not married now, because you got married young. So now you having fun. You see what the f mm, Okay. She know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. She know what I'm talking about. I had a best friend since my ex best friend got married young. Them mother is not happy. They're just keeping it happy because of what you said, social media. Yeah. Trying to make it look, look good on social media. Them mother ain't happy at all. Mm -mm. Yeah, this woman should be a therapist. That's great advice. I'm sure they'd be a lot happier if they sleep around with random men all the time. I cheated in another country. So at that time, I was like, oh, nobody's going to know about this. I don't say anything. It's, you know, this is all, it's all about me right now. <laughs> So at that time, I, I enjoyed it. But yeah, as soon as it, I got back, I just felt so guilty. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it in the process. My boyfriend at the time was 2,000 miles away. And here's my best friend's cousin, who is right here and open and willing. And I was like, it. let's go. If she cheats, she belongs to the streets. <laughs>